what the tools are to the crew is it's our livelihood. You know, we, we let them warm up every morning and pay attention to the oil levels every day and if something steak makes a noise or a squeak or creak we, you know we we, uh, we hone in on it because if that machine goes down um, you're going back to the rake and, and and in the back of our minds we're just wasting time because unless, unless that excavator is running six seven hours a day we're not we're not doing our job. To build 60 miles of trail in a 2,000 vert mountain. Hand tools aren't gonna to cut that and what we've been doing this five years now. <laughs> so you need planning, you need excavators running around, you need, more importantly, operators for these excavators. You can't just put anybody in a machine and expect to build a mountain bike trail. Trails are changing too. So, I mean, trails went from, you think about A-Line and Whistler, Boulder Dash, big trails, and uh, it's kind of changing nowadays. The trails are kind of getting smaller, more precise, more technical. The tools are changing as far as the excavator attachments go. So the, in the progression I've seen the last five years, the trail building has changed with the machines. We like bigger machines, of course, we can build bigger things, we can move more soil, but the smaller machines are actually more intimate in the trails. So you're able to get in between trees, in between rocks, bushes, then you don't really leave a path of destruction behind you. And that's, that's kind of the progression of trail building is moving towards the hand built that's actually built by a machine. And it's kind of hard to tell where you even got that machine in there to build the trail. I've seen some really good trail builders recently that have been taking advantage of the natural terrain and the way that it's pre-shaped and kind of amplifying that with the machine. When you get to that level, I think you can really save time. It's an awesome experience and it feels not like a typical, oh, switch back, come over here, roller, roller, jump, switch back, switch, you know, like that stuff gets boring. You kind of tend to, you know, start picking your teeth with a toothpick and thinking about other things instead of um, how cool this trail really is. tools are a must. There's no way around it. I wish there was. <laughs> and there's a magical little trail tool that has like an attachment that sifted and did all this for us. That would be great. At the end of the day, it's kind of in the incentives. Now, now that all our trail crew builders have excavators, they're expected to do their own handwork. Um, and it doesn't take long for a trail crew person to, uh, to get better at machine work because they have to do their own handwork. Hand tools are one of my personally favorite tools there are. My, I have my own personal shovel that has a completely smooth backside, silver from slapping the dirt over and over and over. I mean, I come from a dirt jumping background where it's just hand tools. That's all you use. There's no machines. So my, my love for the hand tool is probably greater than the machine as far as when I finish a jump, when I finish a landing. The last tool to touch that landing is a shovel. It's just one of those things that um, without doing handwork and, and having that attention to detail at the very, very lowest level, you're not going to appreciate the machine and you're not going to know what to look for and how to finish with the machine. It's really important. It's an extension of your hand at some point. And the better you get with your machine, the better your trail becomes as well. They've got so many hours in an excavator that um, they don't have to think anymore. It's really an extension of their body. Um, so when you see an experienced operator in an excavator that's been doing it for years and years and they've got thousands of hours in their belt, um, they can do some pretty sweet stuff that a normal excavator operator that's been working on roads for their whole life cannot do. I guarantee it. We couldn't have Angel Fire what we have today without machines unless we had 200 workers with shovels and it's still not going to be the same. Dirt is amazingly soft. It's like fresh powder. It's, it's ground pals, what we call it. As long as there's dirt on the mountain, people are going to ride. <laughs>